Did you call bank? I call game. What's up, Pack Nation? It's Pack here, and today I want to talk about all-time teams. They added every single all-time team in NBA 2K18, but they missed one important one, and that was the Charlotte Bobcats, okay? Now, yes, they added all the Charlotte Bobcat great players onto the Charlotte Hornets, but no, they were a different team with a different name. They deserve their own all-time team. So that's exactly what I did in NBA 2K18. Now, before this video starts, you're probably thinking, Pack, they're literally in the Hornets team. But no, what I considered a good Charlotte Bobcat player is I only took into account the years they played for the actual Charlotte Bobcats, not the Hornets, right? So I got the 15 best players that are in 2K that were in the Charlotte Bobcats, fixed their ratings and everything, and I made a team. And the question is, could this all-time Charlotte Bobcats team win a championship? Let's find out. I'm going to go from the worst player on the list to the best player on the list. We start with Bismack Biombo, 74 overall. Bismack Biombo averaged four points per game, six rebounds, and two blocks in the three seasons he played for the Charlotte Bobcats. The next one is Jared Dudley, a 75 overall, averaging six points per game, four rebounds, and an assist for the two seasons he played with the Bobcats. Next up is DJ Augustine, a 75 76 overall he played four seasons with the charlotte bobcats averaging 11 points per game two rebounds and four assists michael kidd gilchrist was also playing for the bobcats before they became the hornets averaging eight points per game six rebounds and an assist for two seasons also a 76 overall josh mcroberts also played for the charlotte bobcats for two seasons getting nine points per game five rebounds and four assists those are man numbers Joe henderson played five seasons Seasons with the Bobcats a player with one of the most amount of seasons played for the Bobcats 11 points per game three rebounds and two assists for Gerald Henderson a 78 overall next up is Ramon Sessions a 79 overall getting 13 points per game three rebounds and four assists for the two seasons he played for the Bobcats next is Boris Diaw he played four seasons with the Bobcats averaging 12 points per game five rebounds and four assists he is a 79 overall for this Bobcats team and the starting power forward. So you could say that Boris Dio is the greatest power forward in Bobcats history. Good for him, good for him. Next up, it is point guard Raymond Felton, an 81 overall, averaging 13 points per game, three rebounds and six assists in the five seasons he played with the Bobcats. Loyalty right there. Next up is Emeka Okafor, rookie of the year with the Bobcats, averaging 14 points per game, 11 rebounds, and two blocks a game with the five seasons he played for the Bobcats. Ridiculous. He's an 83 overall on the team. Next up is Steven Jackson, an 83 overall. He averaged 20 points a game, five rebounds and four assists, but he only played for them for two seasons. Next up is Kemba Walker, an 83 overall. Kemba Walker averaged 16 points per game, four rebounds and six assists in the three seasons he played with the Bobcats, but now he's been loyal with the Hornets. Al Jefferson, the only player that only played one season with the Bobcats on this list. The reason he's on this team is because he had 22 points per game, 11 rebounds and a block in the one season he played with the Bobcats. Ridiculous numbers. The greatest single season in Bobcat history. Next up is Jason Richardson. In the two seasons he played with the Bobcats, he had 21 points a game, five rebounds and three assists. And finally, the GOAT of the Bobcats, 87 overall Gerald Wallace with 16 points a game, eight rebounds a game, and three assists in the seven seasons he played with the Bobcats. This man was loyal. He almost played every single year the Bobcats existed with the Bobcats. That's crazy. So that is the team, but the question now is can they win a championship? Ah, that's the question. See, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighty overalls on the team. So they're almost as good as the Warriors. Think about that. The all-time Bobcats are almost as good as the Warriors. That's kind of sad. But let's see now. Can they win the championship? Let's find out. What the heck? Why are they 38 and 44? They're not even 500. How are they? They didn't even make the playoffs in the East. They're the ninth seed. Are you kidding me? Why? So apparently they didn't make it. They had the same record as the Wizards, but the Wizards had a better conference record. So we don't make the playoffs. The Nets beat us. The Nets. How did the Bobcats not? Hold on. 
What? Jason Richardson had 24 points a game. Kemba Walker had 18. Steven Jackson, 17. Oh, Jefferson, 17. What? These three never scored a single point which is crazy. How are they so bad? Why is Joe Wallace only getting 10 a game? Think about that. Why Why is he so bad? Alex Jefferson had 10 rebounds a game. So almost two blocks. And they weren't good enough to make the playoffs in the East? That's dumb. The Bobcats are officially garbage. They're all time team. If you put their best players ever in history onto one team, they still wouldn't make the playoffs. That's garbage. Bobcats, you disappoint me. It's good that y'all, I'm gonna say it straight up. It's good that y'all are gone. It's good. That's it for this video, guys. Do you have another all-time team you want me to make? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like my channel, give it a sub. And I'll see you guys next time. Did you call a bank?